Missouri driving car number 65X. It is Thomas Roberts. To his outside starting second to car number 91 out of Jamesport, Missouri. That's C.J. Turner. Row number two inside driving car number 26 out of Lawson, Missouri. It is Anthony Whittem. And to his outside starting fourth in the 34X out of Maysville, Missouri. It's Mick Ross. Row number three inside driving car number 63. It is Tim Eaton out of St. Joe. And to his outside starting sixth in the 47X out of St. Joseph, Missouri. It's Connor Masoner. Row number four driving car number 292. It is Blake Peeler. And to his outside starting Starting eighth in the 21X, it's Randy Smith Jr. out of Hamilton, Missouri. Race fans, pick out that favorite car, favorite number, favorite driver. Give him that big wave and a send-off. It is your IMCA stock cars. Row number five inside, driving car number 46. Oh, birthday boy from Latham, Missouri, J.J. Bumley. To his outside, starting in the 10th position in the 37D out of Bedford, Iowa, it's Brad Deary. Row number six, the 20X, unable to go. Carson Masoner, let's move up to 83 of Aaron Boo Sauter. Shotgun on the field, driving car number 16L, Paul Laffin in the 17 of Ramon Ortega. Jacob, we're going to green off turn number four. And we are green. Thomas Roberts and C.J. Turner, they're going to have an even start. It's Turner that will get the jump in the turn number one. He's got half a car length. He goes to the top side. Roberts stays there as well. Mick Ross tries to work the top side. Your top three off turn number two is Turner, Roberts, and Ross. James Port Mafia out front. That Godfather field number here on the inside. Comes that car number 34 extra Ross. He will look on the inside of Roberts as we roll into turn number one. CJ Turner leading off turn number two is the 16 of Paul Lantferman pulls that car to the infield. And we stay green as we've got contact down the back straight away. Both cars stay straight as of right now. Looks like Brad Deary may have trouble on that race car. As he gets that car refired, we stay green at US 36 Raceway. Back in gear. Green flag stays out on the racetrack. It's continuing to lead. Is that car number 91 a Turner? Already one feature win up at Bethany. Can he make it another one here tonight in his rookie season in the IMCA stock cars? As Blake Peeler, your current points leader here in the IMCA stock cars, already up into that fourth position after starting seventh. Look up there for second. Thomas Roberts, he's got company from the 34X of Mick Ross as they battle door to door off turn four. Turner slips a little bit. That allows those two to gain right on the back buffer as we head into turn number one. He continues to lead, but he has got the hounds at the door. C.J. Turner still your leader. Thomas Roberts second. Mick Ross third. Blake Peeler fourth. All of those cars run bumper to bumper in a line as Roberts. He's going to look to the inside off turn four, but that high side momentum works for Turner. We're 10 in, five to go. Mick Ross rides the wall here on the front straightaway. For him, that's just a high side. No problem, no foul as he keeps that hammer down as he goes down the back straightaway. As cars are all over the racetrack, down on the off of turn two, as it looks like Mick Ross might have trouble over there off in the high side down the front straightaway. Dives that car into the infield. Flat right front tire on Mick Ross's car. As it looks like we have the black flag going to be pointed at some driver as we've got a little bit of extracurricular activity going on. But continuing to lead is that 91 of C.J. Turner. C.J. Turner, still your leader. Thomas Roberts, second. Blake Peeler now up into that third position after the issues for Mick Ross. We are eight, seven in, eight to go. It'll be halfway this time by. James Port Mafia, very strong here tonight. He's got that car out front, Grand River on the side of it, along with Pardon Hardware, also sponsors on that car number 91. Turner continues to lead. we got a side-by-side -side battle for second as Pillar gives way to Roberts. Turner's going to work the top side of the racetrack off turn number four. We've got six laps to go. Roberts, he's got company from Blake Peeler. Mick Ross, sorry, that is Connor Masoner. Connor Masoner now on that fourth position. Mick Ross was off the racetrack with a flat tire. Those silver numbers as he looks for fourth, but while those three battle for second, C.J. Turner is going to cook off the laps. We've got five to go. Connor Masoner could be the fastest car on the track as he has run down the leaders and he settles into that fourth spot. Now Peeler going back to the top as he looks on the outside of the 65X, but look up front. That 91 continues to lead. This time by, we'll have four more laps to go as C.J. Turner. He likes what he's going to see behind him as Blake Peeler, Thomas Roberts, and Connor Mason. They go after that second position. Peeler wants the top side. Roberts is going to give him that lane. Peeler gets the run. We've got a battle for second in turn three. Going to be three wide as they come off turn number four down the front straightaway with three laps to go. As he hangs on to that lead, Turner looks like the man to be here tonight. Again, the three kind of sandwiched together there in a turn number one, and that, again, allows Turner to continue 
continue to increase his gap as now here comes Connor Masoner. He looks to the inside, a little door rubbing into turn number three. Everyone stays straight as we're two to go this time by. Three wide again as they come by the flag stand with only two laps remaining. Love to see that two on the scoreboard as these laps continue to tick off. Here comes Peeler up top as he has got that run on the high side on the 65X. C.J. Turner is going to get the white flag this time by. He's got one more trip around U.S. 36 Raceway. Blake Peeler, he's going to work the top side for second, but he's not going to have enough time as C.J. Turner's got one more set of corners to go. As he comes through turn number three, going to be coming off turn number four. Gets that car set down the front straightaway. Let's hear it for him. Feature winner, the 91, C.J. Turner. Second place, 292 of Blake Peeler. Third, 65X of Thomas Roberts. Then comes the 47X of Connor Maestro, then the 63 of T.M. Eaton. What a race. Green the checkered, dare I say, the 91 of C.J. Turner in victory lane. Chad Burns looking them over as they roll down. Green light flashes on. Mike Moore and Mike Hausman up in row number one, ready to drop the hammer. Let's go racing. Field rolls down through turns one and two. Moore, the early leader. Hausman giving chase. Colleen is third. Chapman is fourth. Snyder rounding out the top five. Jack Potter with a big move now. Car number 15 pulls it up and into that top five. He overhauls Snyder as they head down into turn number one. Drukey back in the seventh spot. Here comes Joey Danley. But up front, it's still car number 69. Mike Moore, the 4L of Mike Hausman. Adam Gullion in the 91 JV, Toby Chapman and Jack Potter. Drukey now takes the measure of Snyder. He's up and into the sixth spot. As you look there again, as Drukey there in that sixth position, he's going to look to chase down the 15 of Jack Potter. Up front, you've got a battle for the lead. Mike Moore, Mike Houseman Jr., they battle off turn four. Crouch moves down to the low side, lets the leaders negotiate the high side down through turns one and two. Still Moore and Houseman, your leader. Gullion now giving chase, starting to close the gap between your leaders. Adam Gullion in car number 91, JV, up to the third spot. Chapman now makes the move around the lap machine. But it's Gullion starting to close in on your two leaders in car number 91. Jack Potter, the next big mover, and he's got Drukey right by him. One car up and over. Chad Jarrett goes over and turns one and two, and he collects your leader, Mike Moore. Red flag on the speedway turns one and two. Looks like Jarrett's still running. Still rolling, still running. Hausman and Gullion up there one and two. Chapman back in third. Jack Potter, Tyler Drukey, Stu Snyder, Joey Danley. And there's the green flag. We're back to racing action. Hausman leads him down into turn number one. Gullion giving chase. Chapman looks up around the high side. Toby Chapman. Up around the rim, he'll overtake Gullion for the second spot. Meanwhile, Drukey moving to the low side of the 15 of Jack Potter. So now it's Toby Chapman giving chase to your leader, Mike Hausman, the veteran, out of Des Moines, Iowa. Race for that third spot. Gullion and Drukey going at it. As off of turn four, your leader's still a 4L of Mike Houseman. He enters turn number one as Chapman. He rips the cushion up at the high side of turn one. That's your top two. Adam Gullion runs third. Tyler Drukey fourth. And then Stu Snyder rounds out your top five. Chapman about to encounter. Houseman about to encounter lap traffic down the back stretch. He moves to the high side of Austin Crouch. Almost a half straightaway lead now over Chapman. Best racing going on back there for that sixth spot. That's Danley and Richards going at it. They've moved Jack Potter back a couple spots. Your leader, Hausman, down the front stretch with now 14 laps remaining. Drukey right on the back bumper, looking low on Gully and can't make the pass. That allows Snyder to close up. It's a three-car dance for positions three, four, and five. As into turn one, that battle continues for that third place position. Drukey's going to work the middle of the racetrack. He gets a nose under going in, but has to slide back to that fourth position. It's still third for the moment. And the 91 JV of Adam going in. 13 laps down, 12 to go in this one. We're halfway home. Hausman 
enjoying a half straightaway lead over Toby Chapman. Once again, lap cars will come into play within the next couple laps, and they are racing two grooves wide right in front of your leader, Mike Hausman. Now they settle down into a single file line. Hausman encounters the lap traffic down in turns one and two, takes it to the high side. Moves around Potter. Chapman now with a chance to close on your leader. Hausman behind Kayla Stoops down the backstretch. Here comes Chapman. Unable to gain an advantage right now on Hausman. Hausman turning some quick laps here at the US 36 Speedway. Into turn number one, you've got a new driver moving into the third place position. Tyler Drukey completes the pass over Adam Gillian to move that 12 machine up to third, although he's got a long way to go in just seven laps if he wants to chase down your top two. Hausman makes the pass on Stoops. Stoops racing him hard down the back stretch into turn three. That allows Chapman to cut that lead to a quarter straightaway. Now it's about six car lengths to differ between first and second with six laps to go. Drukey with a long way to go in a short time to get there back in that third spot. Finds the rut down into turn number one. Keeps it upright. Five laps to go for your leader. Mike Hausman. Toby Chapman. Kayla Stoops. And Chapman goes around. Toby Chapman with a near spin. Drukey now up and into that second spot. Gullion charges pass for third. Chapman recovers. He's up to fourth. Snyder now overhauls him up around the outside. No, that's not Snyder. Joey Danley overhauls him up around the outside. Danley now working on Gullion. Three laps to go for Hausman. Hausman with a full straightaway over Tyler Drukey. Then it's Gullion, Danley, Chapman, Snyder, and Richards. As in to turn, off of turn number, into turn number one, excuse me, Mike Hausman Jr. A big lead, two to go. He's got one and a half more trips, three more sets of corners. But 4L picks up the Sprint Series of Nebraska victory. Two laps to go for your leader. Hausman cruising down the front stretch. Takes the high line around Kenny Potter. Drukey just passing the flag stand. So Hausman has got this one in hand. He'll take the white flag from starter Chad Burns. One Make that the checkered flag from Chad Burns. The win goes to car number 4L from Des Moines, Iowa, Mike Hausman. Tyler Drugge coming home in that second spot. Joey Danley is third. Adam Gullion is fourth. The seven of Toby Chapman rounding out your top five. Coming off turn number four. It's Tony Manley. It's Jacob Rock, your front row. We are green off turn number four. It's a quick start. And Shane Bailey, turn number one after he gets a big jump. He's going to slide up. Almost throwing a slider. Really did throw a slider. Number one makes it stick. Your leader into turn three is the seven of Shane Bailey. Shane Bailey wasting no time getting that car out front. He feels like the faster he can get away, the better he is. It's Clat, Chad, Clancy already up. Spot, looking for more as he looks on the inside of Mike Dotson. As Jacob Brock will spin that car out right in front of the field. Everyone able to avoid great driving from the field as we are yellow on the speedway. Getting the five and Jacob Brock around and turning. It's on the gas pedal. We are back racing at US 36 Raceway. It's a good start from Bailey. It's a good start from Dotson. As here comes he's going to take over fourth. Was thinking about third. Got a little high off turn two. In your top four, single file into three. Hibner may be one of the faster cars on the track as he came from back in the field as well, and he is up to that fourth position looking for more. As now they're side by side in front of him as Clancy looking on the inside. He will take that position away from Dotson. As over there in turn number two, Doug Heimbaugh is around as he keeps that car fired. We stay green, but back for that pass, Michael Dotson got all sorts out of shape in turn number two, almost into the side of Chad Clancy. That allowed both Clancy and Hibner by. Dotson back to fourth. While all that happened, Shane Bailey is gone with a two-second lead. Clancy and Hibner better get on their A game tonight if they're going to run down this car number seven of Shane Bailey as Bailey has got that car on a rail here tonight. Fast, fast, and faster is what I can say about him running 15 seconds laps as he is the fastest car on a racetrack of 15.209 last time by we're five in 15 to go chad clancy he still runs in that second position but he is losing about a tenth of a second a lap right now 2.2 seconds behind your leader tyler hibner still runs third michael dotson fourth and clay hale he's all out of shape over in turn number one keeps it right and he still stays fifth 
Bailey will take advantage of the lap car. Him ball slipping up. He will take that car on the inside and move right along. Here comes Clancy. Going to have to do the same as Clancy in that second position, doing everything he can. But Bailey looks like he may have the field covered here tonight. That last time by, though, a four-tenth of a second gain for Clancy. But he gets stuck behind lap traffic. He's moving around the, to the inside of the 49D of that time ball. And the gap goes back up to 2.4. So issues with lap traffic for Chad Clancy gives Shane Bailey an even bigger lead off turn four. Tyler Hibner going to drift that car up. He's going to try to look on the inside of Hembaugh down the front straightaway. Problems as we got one off face. 22H of Clay Hale. Problems as the 22H pulls into the infield. Clay Hale, second in points, has issues to ninth as he's the first one out of this race. He will take home a 10th place finish. We look back up front as Shane Bailey is now going to have to deal with his second car of lap traffic that is a 19XR of Benji Douglas. About two car lengths before Bailey gets there. He'll look to the inside in turn three. No problems for Bailey as he just dives that car on the inside right on by Benji Douglas as he has got that car working tonight. Dotson logging as around goes Jacob Brock. As we've got a car over in turn number two stop. The caution is out at the halfway mark. We are 10 in, 10 to go. But that is the second caution for Jacob Brock. And that will most likely be the end of the night as the two unassisted rule will come into effect. And I think he's going to try to take second away off turn four. Hibner's got that low line working. Here comes Fitz 5 of Dawson looking on the inside of Clancy, but up front, everybody's still chasing Bailey. As Bailey seems to be a little higher on the speedway now as the groove is moving up. I don't know if Bailey wanted to be quite that high as he was way up there, almost jumped the cushion down there in turn number two. We'll see where he goes this time. This time goes back to a little bit more of a middle groove off turn two. That's where he's been fast all race long. But again, the quick jump on the restart is what has kept Bailey out front. Yep. It kind of settles in after a couple laps, but he's got a second lead with seven laps to go. Bobbing around on the racetrack. These are on the edge of out control. Fire breathing, high flying. Some of the best racing you will ever see is IMCA Modifieds. As continues to lead is that car number seven, Shane Bailey. Bailey works off turn number four. Back there for a second. Chad Clancy, he has regrouped and now is mounting another charge on your second place runner of Tyler Hibner. Ch Clancy will work the bottom, tries to get the drive off, but the momentum will go to the 89 of Tyler Hibner. Looks like the front valence up on that car number 89 of Hibner. Problems for him. It's just like a parachute on the front of that race car as he will charge back on the high side. Too close for me to call that time by. It was still Tyler Hibner by 57 hundredths of a second that time by. Chad Clancy this time off turn two. He takes second back away from the 89 of Hibner, but with just four laps to go, he's got over two seconds if he's going to track down the second machine, Bailey. Seemed like Bailey getting faster, although he did bobble down in turn number one that time. Cut it back up, put back in the throttle as he is one more fast race car. All the 21C can do is look and try to gain on him, not making up much ground. Three laps to go. That time by. Chad Clancy was a tenth and a half faster, but still with a 2.5 second lead, that's not going to be enough. He will run out of time as this time by the two to go signal from Chad Burns will be given to your leader, the seven of Shane Bailey. Two to go. Shane Bailey is having things just like he wants them out here on the high banks of US 36 Raceway. He has got that car flying through turn number one, off of turn number two. Now he will head into three. Great run by the seven of Shane Bailey. As the white flag comes out, he's going to have to deal with lap traffic. Easily moves around the 49D of Heimbaugh. Now we'll have to deal with the 3X of Tony Manley. Bailey. Almost half a straightaway down the back straightaway. Doesn't really need to work to the inside of Manley, but will do so as off of turn number four. Your IMCA modified feature winner tonight's the seven of Shane Bailey. Second will be the 21C of Chad Clancy. Third, the 89 of Tyler Hibner. Fourth, the 55D of Michael Dotson. And rounding out your top five is the 48X of Jim Masoner Jr. But race fans, let's give a big round of applause to your feature winner tonight, the seven of Shane Bailey. Race fans like to welcome everybody to Cheeseworks video as we're getting ready for great race and action with the ASCS 360 Sprint Cars. Let me give you that starting lineup on the pole, driving car number 21. He was your high point qualifier. That is Miles Paulus. He is out of Marshall, Missouri. Outside of him is that car number 81. He is out of Nebraska. That is Jack Dover. Row number two inside, driving car number 37H. That is Nicholas Howard. Row number two outside, driving car number 92J, hometown favorite out of St. Joe, Missouri. It is J.R. Topper. Row number three inside, as he is out of Gravis, Gravis Mills, Missouri, Arden Gannettin. And I'm sure I mispronounced Latin, but Gannettin is the way it says. Car, Gannettin, Gannettin, 
Jenadin. I'll get it right here in a minute. 49B, Ben Brown out of Marshall, Missouri. Jay Russell out of Elwood, Kansas at five. Chuck Alexander, we are green flag racing. After the to turn number one, Miles Paulus will take that early lead down the back straightaway. Here comes Jack Dover, with the gas man. Third will settle into that second spot. He will be giving it everything down the front straightaway. Then our catch at fast call to Miles Paulus. As Paulus takes it down the back straightaway, Dover still runs stuck and look a little further back. 76 out of Elwood, Kansas. Jay Russell runs back in the pack. As we look into turn number one. Dover completely sideways in turn number one. Gallows it back up. Green will stay on the racetrack. 17 laps to go with this 20 lap feature as they come into turn number one. Off of turn number two. Dover still runs in that second position. 37H and Nicholas Howard out of Lawrence, Kansas. He will run that third spot. Howard trying to run down Dover, not able to get it done. Howard continues to battle as he sets his sights on the 81 of Dover, but Paulus running away with it. Miles Paulus in that corner number 21, has it out front, climbs through turn number one, off of turn number two. As he goes through turn number three, off of turn number four, Paulus will still lead him. Again, he was your high point runner in that car number 21. He also picked up the heat race win and picked up the dash win. So Miles Paulus winning everything in sight here tonight as he is already dealing with lap traffic here on the fast 3 8 mile of dirt. Paulus gets by the lap car without any problem. Here comes Dover. Dover will do the same. Dover starting to cut into that lead ever so slightly as Paulus kicked up a little bit of smoke that time. See the glow of the brake pads as they go through turn number one and two. Now three and four as they come down the front straightaway. Looks like 11 laps to go that time by. Dover running the high line. He is starting to gain now on the car number 21 of Paulus as we are halfway through. Halfway through the feature as Dover starts to run down Paulus. Dover the faster of the two cars now as he is starting to cut in. Looks like Paulus better through one and two. Dover better through three and four. Dover within about eight car lengths now as I smell the smoke on that car number 21 of Paulus. A lot of smoke coming out of the back of the 21 as he goes to as J.R. Topper off the pace. Topper off the pace. Problems for the 92 with J.R. Topper. That 37 years of racing experience, Jackson lot equipment on the side. It will come to a slowdown and stop here on the front straightaway. Problems for J.R. Topper. Our race fans, as we on Cheese Works video getting ready to go back green, as we come through turn number three, off of turn number four, Miles Pauls on the gas. We'll come on four. Here comes the gas man, Jack Dover, as he is in his tracks going into turn number one. They will now set his sights on Paulus down the back straightaway. Howard runs third. Good run for him. As we go through turn number four, three, off of turn number four, Paulus continues to lead. As Paulus continues to set the pace, the guy I'm watching is at the car in third spot. That is Howard. Howard making that run to the front. And Dover gets all kind of squirrely and out of shape as Paulus continues to lead. Smoke trailing out of the back of the 21, but it don't seem to be slowing him down as Miles Paulus has six more laps after he goes by this time. Continuing to pull away is that car number 21 of Paulus if the car will just hold up. Jack Dover runs in that second spot. Howard in that third spot. Great run as Paulus continues to lead. Five laps to go. Only five to go to determine who's going to win this big ASCS 360 sprint car race. Paulus rocks and rolls through turn number three off of turn number four. He will come into turn number one. Wide open is that sprint car run. Dover runs that second. Howard still running to the top three. Continue to make fast laps around this speedway as we got three laps to decide it. Paulus again dealing with lap traffic as he goes down the back straightaway. Now Dover has to deal with the lap cars. He goes into turn number three off of turn number four. But Paulus continues to lead. Two more laps to go. Paulus continues to lead as he goes in down the back straightaway. Fire signs on the back straight as he goes into turn number three. White flag in the air. One more time around for Miles Paulus. Jack Dover runs in second. All he can do is watch Paulus pull away. He goes through turn number three. 
Big round of applause and great feature win for the 21 Miles Thomas. Second place, 81 of Jack Dover. Then comes the 37 of Howard. Good run for him. Next will come car number three of Gannettin. Good run for him as well. Great race in action. Also coming to the front, that 76 of Jay Russell. What great race in action as we get ready to head down to victory lane with car number 21 as he will celebrate Westfall GMC victory lane. Miles Paulus picks up the win here tonight.